हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू चैप्टर नंबर टेन विजुअलाइजिंग सॉलिड शेप्स सेशन वन एंड आई एम श्योर दैट यू आर गोइंग टू एंजॉय दिस सेशन सो लेट स्टार्ट इन दिस टॉपिक्स वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न एनालाइजिंग सॉलिड शेप्स व्यूज ऑफ थ्री डी ऑब्जेक्ट्स एंड मैपिंग स्पेस अराउंड एस सो लेट स्टार्ट वॉट आर टू डी शेप्स two dimensional shapes the plane figures having two measurements example length and breadth or just radius are called two dimensional figures examples square triangle pentagon circle and many others what are 3d or three dimensional shapes the solid figures having three measurements length breadth and height or depth are called 3d or three dimensional figures 3d objects also occupy volume examples cube cylinder cuboid and there are many other examples but in our real life situations we come across many other objects which are combination of two or more shapes these objects are called nested objects example an ice cream cone an ice cream cone is a cone surmounted with a hemisphere next example is a photo frame this can be compared to a rectangular path next example is a tent a tent is a cylinder surmounted by a cone you know dear students that a 3d object can be viewed differently from different positions there are three main views to observe a 3d shape the front view the side view and the top view let's take one example i have a house on the screen a house looks different from front from side and from the top so these are the three views of this house the front view the side view and the top view sometimes we arrange cubes to make some solid patterns and we can draw the front view the side view and the top view for such solid figures so here is one example so this is a solid made up of four cubes and these are the front view side view and top view of this solid made up of four cubes now let us move to the next sub topic mapping space around us in the subject geography we use map to locate certain places for example cities capital cities mountain river and many others so let us study now how to map space around us i'm asking you a question how far is your school from your house and let us suppose that it is 2 km now i i am asking you to draw a picture for this what you will do you will draw a house at one end of the paper and a school at another end of the paper and mark the distance between them as 2 km is it really 2 km no can we draw 2 km on a paper no it is not possible we have just assume it to be 2 km but when we are drawing map whatever assumptions we make should be proportionate let me make it more clear now i add to the question that there is a market at 1 km and a bridge at half a km from your house on the same way to the school and locate these places on the map now what you are going to do you will mark a um, symbol for market exactly between the school and the house because it is at 1 km that is half of 2 km and you are going to mark a symbol for the bridge at exactly half between the house and the market because it is at half a km from that so you will get like this so this is a concept of making a map dear students is map same as a picture no so let me differentiate between a map and a picture 
So a map depicts only the location of an object in relation to other objects. While drawing the picture, it is an attempt made to represent the reality as it is seen with all details. In case of a map, perspective is not relevant. In case of a picture, perspective is important for drawing. Symbols are used to depict different objects in case of a map and no symbols are used in picture. Fixed scale is used for a particular map and there is no concept of a fixed shape in a picture. In the first session, I have taught you what are 2D shapes and what are 3D shapes. Then you have learned how to view a 3D object differently, the front view, the side view and the top view. We have also learned the concept of mapping space around us. And in that session, I have also explained you the differences between a picture and a map. Let us continue session 2. So in this session, we are going to learn about faces, edges and vertices of 3D shapes, polyhedron and Euler's formula. So let's start. The first topic is faces, edges and vertices. What is the meaning of a face? The plane surface that makes up a 3D object is called a face. I'll repeat the plane surfaces that make up a 3D object are called faces. The faces meet together at the line segments and these line segments are called edges. In turn, the edges meet at the points which are called vertices. So look on the screen, we have two 3D objects. Let us identify the number of faces, the number of edges and the number of vertices for each of them. So first we have a cuboid. How many faces does this have? Six. How many edges are there in this cuboid? Twelve. And how many vertices are there? Eight. Look at the second figure. It's an octahedron. How many number of faces does it have? Eight faces, twelve edges and six vertices. Now let us move towards our next subtopic, polyhedron. What is a polyhedron? It's a solid figure where each surface is a polygon. Example, cube, cuboid and a triangular prism and there are many other such examples. Solids where every face is not a polygon is called non-polyhedron. Example, cylinder cone, sphere and there are many other such examples. Now let us learn Euler's formula. Now Euler's formula is true for every polyhedron. What is this Euler formula? It states that for any polyhedron F plus V minus E is equal to 2. In this formula F represents number of faces, V represents number of vertices and E represent number of edges. So let's know more about this Euler's formula by taking one example. So there is a figure on the screen. It's an octahedron. Verify Euler's formula for the given solid. So what you have to do first? You have to first note down how many faces, how many edges and how many vertices does this figure have. So, how many faces are there? 8, vertices are 6 and edges are 12. Then write the formula F plus V minus E is equal to 2. Left hand side, in the place of F, we are going to write number of faces 8. In the place of V, the number of vertices that is 6. And in the place of V, we are going to write number of edges. So, left hand side is equal to 8 plus 6 minus 12. 8 plus 6 is equal to 14. 14 minus 12 is 2, which is equal to right hand side. So, in this problem, left hand side is equal to right hand side. Thus, Euler's formula is verified. Dear students, with this, I have completed session 2. 
to conclude with what have we learnt in this lesson so we have learnt about the faces edges and vertices of 3d objects we have learnt about what is a polyhedron and what is a non polyhedron and we have learnt how to apply euler's formula so based on this you have a homework for you exercise 10.3 from your textbook so we have learnt about what are 2d two dimensional objects and what are three dimensional objects we have learnt the three views the front view the side view and the top view of an 3d object and we have learnt how to draw a map of the space around you and we also learned the differences between a map and a picture so based on this there is a homework for you solve exercise 10.1 from your textbook question number 1 2 3 and 4 i hope you must have enjoyed this session have a good day thank you